Real Simple Magazine has a popular column that's called New Uses for Old Things, like turning a pasta maker into a paper shredder. The best ideas have been compiled into a book that is called Real Simple, 869 New Uses for Old Things. And executive editor Sarah Humphreys is here with some great examples. Good morning, Sarah. Hi, Maggie. How are you? I'm great. Thank Good. you. So we have them in alphabetical order. Let's yes. start with the A's. Some uses for antacid tablets. Okay, yeah. So we went from A to Z in this book, and the book hits bookstores today. We've spent 10 years coming up with these. These are some of the best. Antacid tablets. What you want to do is you have a vase that you've had, you know, flowers in for a while, and you get that residue on the oh, inside. Oh, nasty, smelly. Tough to clean. Yeah. Throw the flowers away. Fill the vase with some fresh water. Stick in a tablet of alka seltzer. Flop. Flop. Fizz. 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 Let it do its work. Then after a couple minutes, swirl it around, dump it out, and then you can scrub a little bit. It'll be much easier to clean. Easy to clean the vase. You got okay. it. So when you get to deodorant stains on your clothes, okay, we so mentioned every day, this one. right? This happens. So Jeff Glore, I'm going to put it to the test. <laughs> Here we've stained this shirt. So you just need to be diligent. You know, wipe wipe it down, switch sides, but they really do work. Keep these in your glove compartment. Keep, keep them in your desk drawer, for example. If something happens in the office, they're so good in an emergency, and they really do work. Any fabric, Sarah? This is uh, not going to mess up any, any fabric. fabric. Yep. And it'll dry quick because you can't go out with a wet if stain If you have a shirt. silk top, you might want to be a little careful, but something that's, you know, machine washable, go for it. Okay, so we see the water stain. So you need to let to it tell, dry. But, yeah. but there is no deodorant there. See? No more good. white. All right, cooking spray okay, helps cooking get rid spray. of wax. Oh. So guess what? It helps things not to stick, right? Duh. Duh. <laughs> okay, so you know when you make, you, do, you put your candle in the votive holder and then it's stuck forever and you've got to throw the votive holder out. What you do beforehand is you spray the inside with wax, with a little cooking spray. That's great. Right? Stick the votive in, light it, it's good to go. It pops out after you have your party. It's a beautiful thing. You know, I was watching Food Network yesterday, and yeah. Paula Dean had a great tip for cooking spray. She sprayed it on a measuring spoon, so then when she put syrup in it to pour it into a recipe, the syrup came That's right perfect. off. That's perfect. Honey, corn syrup, right. anything. So yep. it's sort of the same it's idea the same with a cheese grater. Absolutely the same thing with the cheese grater. It's the same thing. You're going to take your cooking spray, spray the cheese grater, and then you're going to grate. And what that does is it makes cleanup a lot easier, right? Much less of the scrubbing on the cheese grater. It's nice and clean. All right, very good. This one's really cool. How you can use a cork to make your own sewing so kit. So who knew? A wine you cork. Make that? All you do is just take a, your, your wine cork, you've drunk your wine, and then you can just put your pins and needles in the top of it, and then just run some, you know, thread all around the, the base of it. And then this is good, you know, keep it in your glove compartment for mm -hmm. emergencies or get in your desk drawer. This is a good little impromptu sewing kit. And that is cute as can be. Super cute, right? Super cute. <laughs> okay. All right, we all know the, the obvious use for a salad spinner, right. but you say there are at least three other uses for this, There is. Right? So the best one we have here, you know when you're hand washing your cashmere, it takes forever to yes. dry. So yes. all you need to do is do this with a, a hefty sweater. You don't want to use do this on your really, really, really fine cashmere all because right. it can stretch it out a little bit. You just stick your damp sweater in the salad spinner, close it up, spin away. Is this going to get let rid it go. of the lint? Oh, I wish. <laughs> um, and then when you take it out, right, you want to keep, you give it a few spins. When you want to take it out, put it back on your paper, on your um, towel and let it dry. It's not going to dry it completely, obviously, in the saddle spinner, but it will shed some water, so it will be a lot faster to dry. Really? No hours of waiting. Why am I skeptical about this? <laughs> it really works, obviously. It works. Right? You've got to give it a few pumps. What I mean, are some, some other uses for the salad spinner? Well, the other thing is you could actually dress your salad in the salad spinner. So if you have your salad in here and you pour some, you know, so you're not overdressing. Exactly. Pour some in and it'll be nice, nicely lightly dressed. All right, so that's a and good one. there are more tips in the book for that. All right, vodka. Okay, vodka. Not just for drinking right. anymore. <laughs> that's my favorite use, but no, there's <laughs> other things. So one of the things is before you're cleaning your diamond rings, and what our producer has gratefully and graciously lent us her beautiful engagement Looking. Ring. Kate Gibson's engagement <laughs> ring. Ooh. So what you do is drop it in a little vodka just for a few minutes, and what that will do is it will just get rid of that greasy buildup mm -hmm. ahead of time, and mm -hmm. then use your regular jewelry cleaner or use your dish, you know, soap water to okay. just kind of rinse it off. So you, this is the pre-clean. This is clean. not uh, in the a be-all end-all. Yeah. Okay. Right. Got it. And then the last thing, this is great. A lot of customers use this in Broadway shows. Vodka kills odors, oh. and it doesn't have an odor. Okay. So what you want to do is just when you take your clothes out, say out of storage for winter, right, just give them a little bit of a spritz. But then your closet's going to smell like a martini bar. Well, then what you do is you hang them in a ventilated area before you put them in your closet. But vodka doesn't really have a smell. I, I guess I never thought of the, that. It's the olives that have the smell. Oh. <laughs> Well, it smells like alcohol, smells actually, like alcohol. a little bit, but very faint. All right, so good. Thank you, Sarah. You're welcome. 